Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Mr. Ronan and today we're continuing our playthrough of Pharaoh and Cleopatra. Today we'll be playing the fifth mission of the game, Mennefer. As always, we'll be playing the release from GOG and we'll be using the widescreen mod. Links in the description below for the GOG page and for the mod. Just a reminder, we'll be skipping any cinematics since their aspect ratio and resolution is not updated as part of the widescreen mod. We'll also be skipping through the voiced intro at the level. If you liked the video, remember to hit that like button, and if you loved it, remember to subscribe. Alright, let's get right into it. So as per usual, we're playing the same family we've been playing. I've also started up a save. So double check the speed setting. Alright, so let's take a look at what we got. So it looks like we have an oasis here, which is good. That'll give us a source of water. And then down there, a little bit of rock. Mostly as an obstacle. Okay, we have a lot of reeds. So there's marshland here. And we also have some farmland. So, let's take a look at what our goals are. 1500 population, Absolutely. specific culture and prosperity ratings. Uh, make a house evolve to a spacious apartment. We also have a monument rating, so we will be building one of the monuments this time. So we take a look at getting started. So at this point in the game, this particular level doesn't really have any new features yet. So primarily it's just get us up and running. So let's see if chickpeas and barley. All right. So you see here that if I try and stick a farm down here, we can't actually access it very well. So that's pretty much what we can do. Okay, so there's that. Stick a roadblock down. Granary and space for another granary. Okay. We will uh, want to get some work camps down. So, I need two this time. Go a little bit more, and then create the crossroad. So, we are going to use the Festival Square to help cancel out some of the negativity related to this industry. Uh, looks like we're, we have all three temples again. So, we are going to do one, two, three... So that's our first housing block. We're going to have another one on this end once we get that far. Stick down our maintenance buildings. So you see on this level we also have a tax collector and a courthouse. Alright, so... Let's turn the speed back up. We'll get right into the game. Let's pop a bazaar down. Get a water supply. Temporarily, we're going to take two of those out, just so there's less for the work camps to concentrate on. Also means we can take one of the work camps out. Alright, so now that those have established, get another set of houses going. And we will link them up. So now we've got a nice little loop going on. 
Okay, so that loop should allow us to create a bandstand in one of these corners. There we go. Which will help provide entertainment. So let's stick the juggling school and the conservatory down. Alright, so they're going out to the farms. Looks like we're actually in okay shape, so I'll add two more farms. And another housing block. So we'll try the same thing we did last time, we have the two double housing blocks and then just kind of surround it in stuff. Once we get the food established, then we will work towards getting the next set of raw materials going. So we'll have a festival. We'll hold it for one of the gods that we don't currently have a temple for. Try and keep them happy so they don't end up accidentally or unaccidentally smiting us. So with this new extension down, I'm going to throw in some more of the maintenance buildings. That one will never have access. So looks like we need more food, so we'll start getting to work on that. Uh, we have zero unemployment right now, so which is good. We're also working on getting all that going, so let's go into the storage yard and restrict how much clay they can get to being a quarter of the yard. And this yard we don't want to accept barley. Uh, but we don't want beer, don't want bricks, and same thing, pottery is a quarter of the yard, papyrus is a quarter of the yard, and reeds are a quarter of the yard. So we'll have to do some fiddling around with things once we actually get to the point of having beer.
uh, let's do some prioritization. So that, infrastructure, health and sanitation. And then I think that's good for now. I always want to hit exit whenever I'm doing anything in here. That is the wrong answer. So as you can see, we are basically out of food. Which is part of why I made the extra uh, farms. see we gathered a bunch of pottery which they're going to go and deliver out however without the food that extra pottery doesn't help very much so once we start getting some unemployment I'm going to start laying down okay start to 500 so once we get unemployment I'm going to start laying down the rest of the temples so each one of the gods can be represented here So far, okay. so it looks like there's some desirability concerns in the area. So we are going to put down some statues. Uh, we're going to flank where the road would be if it goes in. That should significantly boost the desirability of the area. Which will pull in a lot of extra people. Alright. Let's start to plan out some barley. So I think that is the most reasonable way to go with that. We're kind of going to keep going this way down here and create like an industrial area. And then loop it. Um, while we are still somewhere that can have water, I'm going to put down another water feature. And a, another storage yard. We are going to temporarily allow barley in the storage yard so that what limited supply we have can be picked up. Oh, we lost that food. Okay, so that didn't get covered up, so it's just going to keep getting less and less fertile. Right, right now we are at 3% unemployment. So it looks like the one bazaar is not enough, so we're going to get another one. And we're going to work to offset that a little bit by putting down some of these guys. Alright, so I'll take food out there. Yeah, so he got mad, so he destroyed the storage yard. So we'll keep holding festivals. Until we can... Okay, good. So we should be able to create the other two temples. So with all these houses looping through upgrades, that should draw a bunch more people in. Uh, there is a 
detriment from the potter over here. So I'm going to beautify the area. Well, that's going to bring a lot of people in, which can create a lot of unemployment. In my own personal mansion. Uh, the other things. Probably want another granary. And several breweries. Now this also has caused some falling desirability, so we'll stick some statues in should reverse the desirability problem. And put some plaza down. Alright, so it looks like we have lots of pottery going on. We can probably actually get an Additional potter. A thousand people. Oh, we ran out of money. Alright, so we've received a loan. Right now it's waiting for beer. So it looks like we have enough to actually support everything that's coming in, which is great. This guy's going directly to the breweries. Start putting some shrines down around town. Just kind of keep the gods as happy as you can. Alright, so what's happening here? They're running out of pottery. Okay. So I'm actually going to get another bazaar. Alright, modest apartment has been achieved. Okay, so we reached the point of having the apartments, and now we get access to the next thing in this mission, which is education. So we're going to gather the reeds, we're going to turn the reeds into paper, and the paper are going to go to schools. Well, libraries. So you can see the education services and the reed gatherers.
restricting pottery to a quarter of the yard. Just to kind of control what's going on. This is really weird that it hasn't gotten any food. So we can have a lot more papyrus makers based on how that stuff is going. We're also going to build out some more of the <sighs> police stations, the maintenance buildings. Okay, I'm also going to place down a tax trade with other cities. So, we need a uh, tax collector somewhere. We're going to stick them right there. Welcome to the world map. On here you can take a look at all the established buildings. You can see where we are. You can see the other places and what they actually trade in. So it looks like these people sell reeds and pottery and bricks and clay and figs. This place buys papyrus. Okay, so we're going to want that. <laughs> okay, so that'll just fill up with papyrus now. So we now have four papyrus makers. This one has no employees at it, so I'm actually going to get rid of that one because it is probably too far away from people to actually get anyone. So our next inundation is going to be a lot better. Um, we do still have some unemployment concerns. So, going to open up this storage yard. This one is all about the barley and beer. So it looks like people still had a decent amount of food, so we're probably okay to keep this same level of farms for now. Okay, so now that we've set that up, we need to go to here and say that we want to export uh, anytime we're over, let's say 400. So that'll start producing some money for us.
So this storage yard. Is only dealing in bricks. There we go. Which currently we don't have any of, but we'll fix that. So right now, papyrus is the only thing we can export. So it's going to happen eventually. Okay, so you can see them right here. There's some traders, and they're going to head towards where the papyrus is and try to buy it. See our money's going up now. So we may be able to support even one more papyrus maker. Which would be great. So we are out of food. So next time around we do need more food. So we are going to uh, not screw up the placement of all those chippy farms. So that should let us get additional food supplies. Which looks like some places... Okay, so we're suffering from not enough entertainment. So, we need... Gentleman booth. We should also up here create another one of those... Bandstands. I can get the... Yep, that one. So now that we've actually established having a little bit more money, we can go in and start importing some bricks. So we have to open a trade route. Uh, so if we go to the world map, you can see that it's actually this other location that's selling the bricks. So we'll pay to open the trade route, go to our overseer, and begin importing... Let's just do 9,000 for now. What are our prices? Bricks are 105 per 100. Okay, let's turn that down a bit. Let's do 7,000 for now. Okay, so our next primary goal is to import those bricks. So we're kind of in a holding pattern until that actually happens. Alright, so now that we've imported those bricks, we're going to see what our next goal actually is. So our goal this time is to create the Mastaba. And it talks about how we need construction gills and peasant labor. So I'm actually going to save it for today. And we're going to come back to this. in the name. No, I cannot. Dash 5. Okay, so we're going to come back to this later and we will revisit this in our next episode. Thank you, everybody, and I'll see you then.